well we're heading towards or eventually going to get to St Peter's Church but first of all what I wanted to show you was this building just on the opposite side of the road to me which is just there absolutely incredible we passed this earlier on but of course you've got these old parts of these towns which have got traffic going through them and of course you're trying to do film or take photographs and it gets absolutely ruined but the cottage over there is called Miss Bat's Cottage which I'll just show you there they've got all this lovely herringbone brickwork in the walls and just up on the timber frames you've still got the old wooden pegs of the building and just here we've got leaded light windows herringbone brickwork with a motif in the middle of that one but this is all as you can see timber framed and it's timber framed right to the top with plaster in between the beams and you've got the old oak windows as dormers we've got this door here and again with the lovely rows but they're just stuck onto the brickwork but just along here you've got an original door which is huge with a big old ironwork on there but underneath there's the pit but unfortunately as we didn't want to help happen we've got the rain coming on I had to go back to the car because the batteries ran out on both my audio recorder and my GoPro so I'm walking up St Peter's Street we've got this house here with these lovely changing coloured leaves just to my left we've got Lime House and we come into these gates at St Peter's the blessed are the dead so we've got that incredible church tower which is a round tower and from what I've just seen it looks as though it's got crosses crucifixes around the outside of it so Stephen seems to have patiently waited for me so we've got the West End Tower which is flint and stone with the tower at the top as I say with the, the crucifixes on the sides and a lovely clock there although it's the time's wrong and this is the south entrance just going to try and back away a little bit and all the tower is made of flint under a tiled roof with the stone buttresses set at certain distances apart they've also got capping stone capping but as you can see all this part of the church here is of stone blocks 
then when you come around the corner you've got the different colour flints and we've got Steve and Cynthia standing here looking at this doorway with these gargoyles I suppose you'd call them but I don't know what else you would call them but you've got the stone mullions around the windows and the doors Again, another buttress right in the corner here. And I will try and get a bit further away from the church this end, because this is the east end of the church. And they've got a cross at the top. And as I come round here, I'm going to lose sight of the church for a minute as we go past these yew trees. We've got this huge fir tree or pine tree. But this is the, as I say, the east end of the church. And you've got a split. Uh, well this is the north, the north end, north side of the church. And you've got a, a valley up there between the main central aisle of the church and this north side. So as I wander around, you can see, again you can see it's all flint on this side. But then on the the north face of the oh, nearly tripped over, north face of the church, these blockwork has been rendered over. But then we've got this extension here which stops me from going round the back of the church I believe yes it does so I'm gonna to have to go back round the other side and film that from round there but Cynthia and Steve are looking for one particular headstone um, of ancestors of a friend of Cynthia's So I'm just going to head back round to the other side of the church and get the other side of the tower. But I'm now at the the west end of the church, and again it's all this beautiful napped flints on this whole gable wall with the again stone and flint buttresses capped in stone you can see there's one there but there's several of them all the way around the church but you've got this doorway at the west end of the church with its stone arch around the door and lovely red and black the black ironwork and the black studs in the door but you've got this the tower as I said earlier on with the crucifixes all the way round I'll see if I can just get a, a little bit further away from the tower it's very difficult because this part of the this end is you haven't got much room because you've got a separate cemetery from the main area So let me just back away up this way a bit so I can get the tower in there but as I said before I've walked around cemeteries before where you've got the different styles of headstones with the different tops But you've got the wall here and then you've got another cemetery down through this way. These are more up-to-date, more modern headstones in here. So 
So I've just spotted Steve and Cynthia over there. So if I can grab them and then we'll end our video here just by this cemetery. So did you have any luck in finding the headstone? No, but we no. just found this lot. A lot of the headstones you can't even read. The, the older ones you yeah. can't read anymore. Yeah. Well, we can have a quick look round here. You'll have to tell me the name. I will. So, after going and getting my new batteries for both the, the audio recorder and the GoPro, we say a cheerio from St Peter's Church in Bishop's Waltham. So, Kevin, Steve and Cynthia saying goodbye and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.